人間の体は動脈全部この内側ここねだからこれを切るわけですねこれは腐ずる一般これは腐るねだからこの間へこれ入るねっ痛んでたこれは転んだ時ですね戦場で木のね腐ずるで足を取られて転んだ時はいや面切ったはずなのに腹疲れてねそれで立ちながらかわして顔面でさらに立ちを回して腰へくるそれを体をかわしながら打ち固定もうもう一人入れるくらいいましたねこれを絡んでこの首へくるこう打ちますこれはもうつきますねお互いの縁のとるこれは今度は首を打ちますよえい首体をかわして固定下から固定さっと外して相手になる両方つけるねはいあえいこれがまだ戻らないうちにこれ It takes a Taki sensei many hours to explain fully the meaning of one pattern of cuts and 13 seconds to do them at proper speed To enable contact training without striking their training partner, they redirect some cuts to engage their partner's sword. Each strike is simultaneously attack and defense. The students practice many different sequences of strokes. Each sequence is called a cutter. They never practice free sparring due to the danger of serious injury. They always aim the blows at the weak points in the armor, although they don't wear armor except on special occasions. <laughs> Master Ataki has two sons. This is the eldest, Nobutoshi. Both have been trained all their lives and they are now both very skilled. The first cutters they studied employ single swords. They learn the basic types of cuts, slashes, and parries first, then move on to the finer skills in the more difficult carters. みんなその強い何回試合しても相手に負けなかったとか大勢の人を散り倒したとかそういう剣豪ブームがありますけどもあれは剣豪ものはほとんど作家小説家ですねそんなのの創作であって事実的なものはほとんど九十パーセントはもう創作ですから。実際のところは。公表されていないんですね。the school has always been based in the countryside。they have a tradition of practicing on rough ground to train themselves in real fighting conditions。they train with a great range of weapons。halberd、spear、short sword and others。But always one of the pair has a sword. There are no formal teaching sessions. The students work in pairs, there being only room for two or three pairs at a time. Each pair works through a series of carters, and then their place is taken by another pair. All teaching is individual and is by demonstration. There are many schools in Japan that teach the samurai martial arts, more than a thousand of them. 
However, in most of these, the techniques are so ritualized that it is hard to see them being used in a real fight. At this school, the oldest of them all, they are still truly martial. The students are not allowed to forget that men died to learn what they are being taught. The status of the school depends upon the ability of the teaching master. This means that Master Otaki must be at the center of focus in any study of the school. Yet he dislikes such a concentration on himself. For him it is the school that is important. He sees himself as the servant of the teaching and knowledge preserved by it. The school has great status in Japan. It's an intangible cultural asset. A sort of living national trust property. Once, most of the students used to be farmers from the area. But now, many come from nearby cities, or even Tokyo, two or three times a week. They come from a range of occupations. Teachers, dentists, businessmen, accountants. There have never been many of them. At the moment, there are only about 50 active members. <laughs> the school has always accepted any student who was prepared to study seriously. Though all the teachings were once secret, there was never any question of limiting the training to the Japanese hereditary samurai class. Students pay a small fee to join and an equally small regular contribution. New members must sign an oath before joining the school. <laughs> the rules of the blood oath are do not lie, be discreet even amongst your family, don't argue or fight or be impolite, avoid bad places at all costs, don't fight until qualified, and keep your oath or be punished by the god of the temple. The rules of the blood oath, like everything else about the school, were laid down by the founder, Master Choi Sai. Master Choi Sai was buried here in 1488, at the age of 102. Around him are buried many generations of the masters of the school. The tomb is set amongst trees close to one of the great shrines of Japan. When the founder retired from active fighting, he came to Katori Shrine, and there he started the school. He said that the teachings came to him by divine revelation after long meditation. Katori Shrine is one of the most important centers of Japan's oldest religion, Shinto, which is deeply involved with the worship of nature, especially as in the spirit of trees. It was in the open spaces of the shrine that the founder taught. And it's from the shrine that the school gets its full name. Tenshin Shoden Katori Shinto Ryu. The founder was a Buddhist. But there is no conflict for a Japanese in worshipping at both Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples. Master Otaki is the teaching master of the school, but there is also an hereditary headmaster, the direct descendant of the founder. Twenty generations separate him from his ancestor. His house is built beside an ancient dojo, now used once a year ceremonially by the senior students. In it 